So Coach Davis, uh, we are here in Sandusky. Oh, about 35 minutes down the road from you guys in Elyria, yep. right? Yep. Yes, sir. And you guys got some pretty good stiff competition. You're the big division here uh -huh. in, in the OAC championships here at Sports Force. But what do you think of this championship so far? It's awesome. It's awesome. It's a great way for the kids to, that's going to be going to the 7th and 8th grade and ninth grade, you know, in a couple of years to get a feel of what it is to play high level competition. Plus to see kids from other communities, other counties, you know, it's a great experience. Is there a better facility in in the in the state of the Ohio or the Midwest? Is awesome. I don't think so. I, I mean, I'd have been in a couple of postseason tournaments and different places, and this is awesome. Everything is right here, turf, so you don't got to worry about muddy fields and. They, they put on a great show. They put on a really great show. So you talk about the kids transitioning to seventh and eighth grade football. You know, what do you ultimately want kids in Elyria, Lorraine, Lorraine County? You know, wherever you're drawing from, um, what do you want them and their parents to get out of this championship here for the OAC and Sports Force? Understand that the, the commitment that it takes to keep to go play later in the season. Um, everybody's for example, my team. We have our first losses today, but what they were finding out with the cold weather and things like that, there's other communities that are really dedicated and you have to match that intensity um so this takes a little bit more you got to turn up that intensity dial and that commitment dial a little bit more when it gets later in the season to stay focused how do you take this and translate it to real life for your athletes uh just commitment just understand just change your mindset that you gotta you gotta be fully committed to this you know you can't go half go as you get later in this season you know either you all the way in or you're all the way out it can't be no in between People see what you do in the off season, right? Mm -hmm. It's showing right now, right? Yeah, it's November, exactly. exactly. Right? What do you say to the, you? Know, you've had a little bit of failure, right? Mm -hmm. But failure is a part of life. Exactly. What do you say to the kids about you know taking a loss today, taking some tough losses, and, and bouncing back? Uh, just to, that this is life. This is life. The beautiful thing about football and any sport it teaches you about life. You know, you're gonna get you're gonna get fight face adversity. You're gonna get behind. But if you're gonna give up, it just keeps piling up. But if you stand firm. And, and go after it and continue to fight, then you'll just climb your way up out of it, you know. So you can't back down and give up, and you just got to keep fighting. And parents are starting to see why we do off-season workouts now, why we, you know, we try to start a little bit earlier and do off-season workouts because these other communities are doing it, and, and they're ready, and they're doing a lot of different things that, you know, we're trying to be, become. Okay. You guys got any more games today, tomorrow? What's... No, we got one more game tomorrow, and then we're done, and our season is done. Okay. What do you want the guys to get? What do you want to see tomorrow out of your compete. athletes? That's that's it. Have fun and compete. That's the most important thing. You know, I tell our kids, win or loss, I can handle a, lo a loss, but I can't handle if we just come out and give up and and, 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 and don't compete. So have fun first. Cause that's why we all doing this, to have fun. It's a game. And compete. All right, you know? it's, it's not very nice out right now. I know you want to get in there and get warm. Oh, yeah. I appreciate the time. You got anything else for me? No, hey, uh, just any communities that are thinking about coming to this tournament next year, please do. It's a great facility, a great time, and you guys put on a great show. Coach Davis, thanks for the time, and good Thank luck you. to you guys tomorrow.